What's going on everybody? We are back in the race shop this weekend. We are still working on hanging the body. Uh, this week we're gonna try and get the dash put in there uh, on the cow panel and we will show you something cool we like to do with our dashes. Uh, as you can hear, it's probably raining there. As you can probably hear, it is raining pretty hard out there. So we're just working in the shop this weekend again, trying to get this thing a little closer. It's going to the racetrack, so. We appreciate you watching. Uh, if you hadn't been here before, I'm Steven Chun. That's my dad. We race asphalt pro late models. And uh, after destroying one of them at Nashville earlier this year, uh, we only had a car that was even older than the one we wrecked. So we built it and then we decided to build our own chassis. So this series of videos is just us putting this car together and eventually we're going to take it to the racetrack and see how it does so like i said we appreciate you watching and hanging out i think it'll be pretty cool to see it once it's finally done all right so we're getting ready to paint the uh cow panel we're just going to paint it matte black or flat black apparently i bought the wrong spray paint whatever uh that's what I'm saying. He got all upset over it. Uh, this is our jig table that we actually built that race car on and that we reclipped the one that's put together on. Uh, I know it looks like a bomb went off in here, but we've been busy trying to get that car done and just cleaning has kind of fallen down on the list. And I'm not much of a cleaner anyways, but this is our jig table that we use we built this ourselves as well and this is what we built that race car on so it didn't take too much but we're hoping it's fast i think it will be dad's getting it painted black. I should have specified that we're painting the, the dash part of the cow panel black, not the whole thing. It would look kind of goofy if you had a white race car with one little spot of black on it. But anyways, let me show you what we got done on this car uh, Sunday after the All-American because they moved everything to Saturday. We got that door bar made, went and bent it, and got all the bars welded on it, bolted in there, painted it, uh, same with the back bumper, got the back bumper in there, got it bolted on, painted, whatnot. Got the fuel cell in there, all the brace work on the back of this car, got all that done. So, we're moving right along. So, I know it looks a little wonky right now, but uh, I think when we get done with it, y'all will see what we're doing, it'll look pretty cool. Just gotta trust the process. You need more in there. I don't know if the camera can see this, but it is like raining soot now. But you'll see why here soon if you hadn't figured it out already. This is something that my granddad did. And in fact, when he was working, uh, what was the dude's name? He was working for Barrel Walter, but it was at. Yeah, whose shop was it at? Robert. Robert G. Robert G's shop. 
<clears throat> my granddad started doing this uh, wood grain in our dashes and so it's something a cool tradition that we decided to keep doing when we started racing it's definitely a a lost art you know it's something you don't see done a lot not like this anymore there might be some people who you know have a wrap that's wood grain and they put it on their dash or do something kind of similar but i feel like very few people really take the time and do it like this So I think it's pretty cool. Well, like he said, yeah, sometimes it always doesn't always go exactly how you want it to. I think this side looks pretty good. Looks, looks like barn wood. I think it's pretty cool. This side we're going to have to redo, but that's all right. That's part of doing something right. One thing about doing it this way is using the acetylene torch to soot up the dash. It throws all that soot everywhere. Dad, turn around. Dad's back, is, you can't really see it, but he's covered in soot. And so is everything kind of. And because it's raining outside, kind of have a hard time opening the doors and whatnot and ventilating. Place leaks bad enough as it is. So trying to spray everything and keep all that soot from landing in clumps on the dash. Trying it again, see how this time goes. Uh oh. There you go.
Mm, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good the way it is. There you have it. Hey. Yeah, I gotta go to TSC and get us a little bit of clear, but uh, like I said, something cool that my granddad did a long time ago, and I thought it would be cool to keep that tradition with all race cars. So I think it's pretty neat. It may not be perfect to some people's standards, or you know, some people may not like it at all, but I think it looks really good. All right, now we got the clear on it. Nice and shiny, got it finished up. Like I said, I think it looks pretty good myself. And then back over here, getting the uh, left front spindle put back on it. We gotta do a little work to that uh, strut arm right there, but that'll come a little later. Getting everything done up on the front end to start throwing fenders and whatnot on it.
All right, guys, uh, that's about all we're gonna get done today. Got the hood pin bar in there and getting it set up, but we'll do that tomorrow. For now, uh, going to a friend's birthday party. He helps me on my race car almost every time we go to the track and race is unlimited himself. So we're turning 21 today, so we're gonna go party with him and we'll get back on the race car tomorrow. All right, guys, it is now the next day. Uh, I feel like we fought the air compressor more than anything today because we'll go to use the uh, ziz wheel to cut, you know, cut the fenders, cut whatever, but you get about five seconds worth of cut and the rest is just waiting for the air compressor to get more pressure to it because our lines are, lines are too big. But either way, we got the, got the fenders cut and clecoed, got the dash clecoed in. Like I said, I think a dash turned out really good myself. Um, got the hood pin bar set up there. So like I said, we've hadn't been super productive today. Been fighting the air compressor more than anything, but we're getting some stuff done. So that's something I guess. All right, we got the Got the car set up. So when you roll through tech, you have to be from the bottom of your nose to the ground, you have to be eight inches when you roll through tech. So we've got seven inches and then another another inch worth of spacer to get the nose up correct so that we run the referee over it. Uh, we know everything's right. So that's why we've got it up like this and we got the bumper bar in there. And we were going to make the bumper bar and you know attach it to our little horns right here and uh, be able to finish the bumper, the bumper cover at least, and uh, Cleco it to the fenders. But yet again, we don't have metal that we thought we had, so we're gonna have to take a trip to, can't go to KGS because they don't have it, but go somewhere and get some metal and make us a bumper bar or make us the pieces for the bumper bar to attach to the horns, so yeah, but at least we've got the bumper bar up there, I guess. Got a little bit done. All right, like I said, we need material to do anything else. So I figure that's gonna wrap up this video, but uh, we appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this one. Like I said, we're almost done with the body. So here soon we'll be doing uh, front suspension and rear suspension and getting everything ready and like it's gonna be when we go to the racetrack. So we're getting there. We're inching closer every weekend. And we're excited to get this thing on the racetrack. We're going to try and go test somewhere in early January, hopefully, maybe even late December. Uh, of course, we've got the Derby coming up. We're going to be down at the Derby just watching. But still, we're excited to almost be done with this car. And I really appreciate all you guys who have stuck around and watched these videos. I know they're not the most interesting in the world, but I'm having fun making them. We're having fun building this race car. We're excited to see how it's going to do. So I'm glad that I can bring you all along with me, those of you that do watch. And Maybe you'll tell your friends and some other people will watch and we'll just keep building from there. So we'll catch you guys in the next one.